how can you lose weight using what I call a smarter linking concept or this linking power? What it comes about is by understanding that everything is a process of linking. The mind works by linking information, not just pain and pleasure, but your money, your time, your energy. Uh, it all flows through to your relationships, your finances, your health, your happiness, and your weight. Obviously, if you're overeating or if you're not exercising enough, over time, you're going to put on weight. So it's a very key uh, fundamental principle that uh, if you have less in your calories and exercise more, you're going to lose weight. So it's so simple. Why isn't it happening with everybody? Why is obesity such a big problem? Why can't psychologists, therapists, uh, books on diets, why isn't it working? It comes about by understanding that we're not taught what I call this linking power. We're taught that everybody links pain and pleasure for a survival, but that's really not helping anybody lose weight because what happens is it's too basic. When you go, when you look at the terms of smarter linking, you have to look at uh, how you're spending your money, uh, your time, who you're connecting with people, what you do for activities, and then what you'll find is that uh, if you really want to start uh, taking control of your weight, you need to be smarter in the way your uh, portion size, the, the times that you eat, and the amount of exercise you do on a daily basis, not just going to gym, but your work, exercise, walking, how you uh, act around the house. You know, you're always just lying down on the couch watching TV, or you're up and about, uh, cleaning, cooking, doing things, hobbies. It's about keeping your mind active, but also realizing you need to develop the skills that are gonna allow you to take control of your weight. I'm suggesting everybody who with a obesity problem really learn and educate themselves about this subject, whether it's watching videos, whether it is seeing a therapist, trying different diets or shakes, that all this helps you to have a better understanding about what works for you. And when you do that, you start developing your own linking power. When you see some results, big problem is on diets is you lose a couple of kilos, but then you feel like you're starving yourself. So then you eat a couple of big meals and you're back to where you started. It really is a lifestyle approach It's about taking control, mastering the way you're linking every area of your life, the way you're linking your mind, like I said, are you an emotional eater? Do you have sort of foods that you just can't resist? Do you have cravings? It's about your body, so what are you doing with your exercise, uh, your time, and whether you uh, have an active life or not? What are you doing with uh, uh, your money? It's also, obviously, if you're going to the shops and buying all this junk food or un uh, unhealthy food, you're going to find that it's going to be very difficult to lose weight. So this is where the lifestyle shift takes place, not just in the mind. It's about the, the mind, the body, the world around you, the people in your life, and your time. When you become more aware about how you're linking and understand all those areas, you start having greater control of every area of your life. If you can take control of your diet, you'll find that you probably have better control of uh, other areas of your life. If you're a smoker and you realize you can stop uh, uh, lose weight, you can probably stop uh, smoking, drinking, Whatever addiction or uh, bad habit you have, it's up to you to take control. Educate yourself, develop the skills, and if you want to learn more, check out some of my videos. I talk about specifically improving your memory, taking control of your thinking, having a better understanding of your uh, emotions. But by doing that, you start finding that you are capable of doing things that you never thought you were capable of before. And this compound success. If you say, say aim to lose a couple of kilos uh, this year and then build upon it next year and then the year after, we're talking three year plans. This is the biggest problem with diets. They don't work as a new year's resolution. It works if you take the time to realize this lifestyle change is a constant forever thing. You need to be, especially if you're getting older now and exercising less, being less active, you need to watch the foods you eat, the portions and the, how many times you eat a day. A lot of uh, this uh, fasting, talking about eating two meals a day, is a good way to start taking control of one area of your life. And like I said, if you focus on improving uh, the way your diet, your weight, uh, your lifestyle, it flows through to every other part of your life. Start developing your own linking power today.